And Lou, we have a couple questions right now. One from Erica. I have a question. Should I use equity in my personal home to buy more property? That's a great question, Erica. <laughs> that is a great question. And certainly I would say that if you have the ability, if you have the knowledge, if you have the backup for someone else to look at that deal and confirm that there is equity, because one of the things that's so important is that that, that you confirm the value of that property. Now value comes in several different ways. It's certainly what someone is willing to pay for a property. And sometimes you can look at comparables and you can say, well, it's worth this. Well, did you look at enough comps? Did you confirm that with experts? Are you sure about that value? Well, let me tell you how you can confirm that the value is there. You see, our business model is to find the buyer before you even buy. And not only that, find a buyer with down payment money. And not only that, confirm what they earn on a monthly basis so that we can determine that they can afford the property that we find for them. Now, if I've already got that customer and I already know what they can confirm, can pay, then when I'm purchasing that property, any number below that is equity. And so definitely if I can buy this property here and sell it here, and there's a nice spread of equity in there, I would be willing to absolutely use the equity in my own home to purchase that property because I have approached the business model the correct way, meaning that I've already got a customer. I've already confirmed that customer. In fact, in a lot of cases, I've already got their down payment money. And that's a beautiful thing when you're going out and buying property and perhaps pulling equity out of your home. That's a great question. So just to follow up on that, Lou, I'll put you on the spot a little bit, but you just did a deal in a very expensive part of the country. And of course, the whole goal is to get people into their homes and own it. And we have different levels on the path to home ownership. And I wondered, since it just occurred like a few days ago, I think you closed on Friday, uh, maybe you want to talk about that particular deal because it fits in so much with this equity and the down payment that you've been talking you know, about. That that's an interesting one to bring up, Scott. Thank you. I guess that was another win of the week as I rattle them through my brain. I'm going, oh gosh, last week was an incredible week. And you're absolutely right. Thank you for reminding me about that, that we did actually close on a property on Friday. And in that particular case, we had a buyer with $150,000 to put down. And in fact, this is in Washington state. And this buyer came to the table and said, please, 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 can you help? We own a business. The banks won't give us any funding. We want to buy a property. We want to use it for our business. Can you help us out? Well, sure enough, we were able to do that. We were able to fund that deal. They brought 150 to the table. We brought the rest to the table and they are absolutely thrilled at any time in the future, they can get a new loan. And one of the great things when you're working with someone like ourselves is now they will have a payment history and they will be refinancing an already existing loan, which makes it so much easier with a bank than a brand new loan. If they had had to go through the brand new loan process, then it would have taken at least 30 days. And in a lot of cases, 60 days when we're dealing with businesses. So in this case, they were able to, get the deal, get it closed, meet their deadline. And that was one of the big things that allowed them to purchase this property. It was a very competitive bidding situation. And it was because of the seven day close that they were able to take snag this property out from under other people that put in contingency contracts and inspection contracts and other type of contracts. They just came in and snagged it out from everybody because of the seven day close. And we were able to bring that money to the table. How's that? That's uh, pretty awesome. And I was, you covered everything I was going to remind. I was, I was going to jump in and say, you know, don't, because one of the things with this particular area that they were trying to buy in, which was, I think, south of Seattle, is it, 
the market is so hot and everything is going so fast. This was the third house. They were kind of chasing the price and then someone else got it and then chasing the price and someone else got it. And then finally, you, you, you know, without your help, they would never have got this property. Well, you know, I, I guess we'll call it another win of the week. And Scott, thank you for bringing us up. Literally before we got on this call, I was on the phone with an agent. I was discussing with this agent a lot that we have in town in Atlanta. And uh, in fact, I said to the agent, well, you know, the house next door was a new house in like 2018. And I think it sold recently. And she looked it up. She says, well, wait a minute. She says, Yes, it did sell recently. It sold at the beginning of the year for 537500 But today, they put it back on the market for 825000 I said, shut the front door. I said, what are you telling me? And she said, oh, yeah, new pictures. So, in fact, when I got on here, I was actually looking at the pictures. But whomever the renovator was came in. Now, remember this. They bought it for five thirty seven. dollars but they came in and put a beautiful lap pool in and they re uh, did the kitchen. Now this was a house that was built in 2018, right? But they came in and redid the kitchen and did some other things. And I'm telling you in town is crazy in Atlanta. And sure enough, now they've put it back on the market today for $825,000. Now talk about a markup. I don't know what they spent on that pool and all the other stuff, but I, I intend to find out. I will tell you that. And uh, but they stand to make at least a hundred grand on that, depending on what they've spent on the property. And guess what? I own the lot directly next door to this. Uh, or let me just say, a trust that I'm familiar with owns a lot next door to this. And this is going to be some fun for a builder to come in, or an or an individual that wants to buy the lot and build their own beautiful home there. I think we just set the market on another one. So you're absolutely right, Scott, that in some parts of the country, the market is crazy. Yep. Awesome.